All right, we are here, ISE 2024, day two, with one of our favorite, favorite brands, Peerless. I mean, you're a legend in at Infocom, at ISE, you are the must stop, and especially for higher ed. I'm excited to get to some of the stuff that's behind us. You can probably see it. We're gonna talk about it in a minute, but first, Brian, please tell everybody who you are, what you do, and a little uh, overview of what Peerless provides. All right, sounds good. I'm Brian McClymonds. I'm the Vice President of North America and Asia Pacific, and uh, I've been with Peerless for 32 years. I've been involved in uh, doing I've been involved in doing, should I start over? You're good, we can edit it. Okay. I've been involved in doing education for 30 years. That, that's been a very big passion for me. I've been involved in doing carts and solutions, uh, putting in TV mounts, when in, you know, CRT TVs, then plasmas, projectors, and then now DV LED. So it's been a great ride. Higher education is a, a space that Peerless really is suited well for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone knows I'm a huge fan of Peerless, so there we go. I mean, I'll get that out of the way. Everyone already knows that. But when you have customers, especially end users and higher ed coming to the booth, what types of questions are they asking for? What types of things are they looking to help for solutions for? Well, they do look for inclusion, meaning ADA compliancy. So we've got new carts that we're launching here at the show, which are ADA compliant. They have pre-wired cables to make them clean. We have a cover on the back of them to hide any kind of the wires. So we're really trying to make it look like an aesthetic solution in the right environment, in an education environment. And we're beyond even just carts, we're doing outdoor displays in some universities. So campuses need to be able to communicate digitally to their students and also potentially future students because yes, the current students have the apps and every information and they can be updated, but when you have a potential new student from a high school somewhere in the country, now you want to be able to communicate to them as they're walking the campus digitally. Yeah, and you know what's interesting, uh, before we hit record, uh, we, we were having a little conversation. You were talking about how institutions are putting in these kiosks, putting in things because of the competitive nature of our institutions, right? And we have to be able to provide solutions in order, because students have choices of where to go, they have right? choices, and they compete. Universities compete for the same dollar, and they need to be able to have I mean, people make their decision within the first hour of what university they might be, you know, leaning towards. Because everybody comes back from their tours and they go, well, what's your number one, what's your number two, and what, why? And it's a feel. They feel, do they feel like this is the right place for them? Mm -hmm. So you've got to be able to communicate from, from all levels, indoor and outdoor. Absolutely. And, and I think it's that, that kind of that balance, right, of... You know, when we're doing our, you know, a lot of people think, okay, I'm doing a kiosk, I'm doing digital signage, I'm doing a display. Well, it has a purpose, right? And it has a purpose for, you know, not just marketing, but messaging. I think of, to me, um, I have to go with security first and public safety. Those are the types of things I look for. What are what trends are you seeing in higher ed? Maybe that have evolved over the last few years. Has they have things changed since COVID? I mean, what types of things are 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 your customers now talking about? Well, what they're talking about is is the messaging uh, to be able to communicate if something was to happen, and they would need to be able to communicate it quickly and efficiently and. One of the most important things is they need to know and let people know when it's safe to come back. If some, if an event happened, they need to be able to say, okay, all clear, come back, you can do this. But they have to be able to communicate to people's cell phones, to the uh, media in the rooms, to the media out of the rooms, anywhere that the, the common areas. Yeah. They have to be able to communicate that across all platforms. So yeah. you're seeing more and more they're putting software together that is uh, able to communicate across all those platforms. Absolutely. And I think that really is the key. And is we're here to, for communication, for all of that stuff. But what everybody here wants to know, if we, we talked about stuff. What are you showing? What's the exciting stuff that, that you guys are bringing out here? DV LED mount solutions are one of the biggest uh, attractors here because everybody's trying to figure out how do I get these big, beautiful LEDs that they're showing at some of the major brands from Sony and others. They want to know how do we put it up in the wall? How do I make it look good there? And as you can see, it's a really busy show. Everybody's even walking around trying to check it out. We do the hardware and the structures. We make it solid and supportive to manage uh, earthquakes, uh, any kind of vibration in the buildings. We can do that and make sure it stays for a long time. These investments that our higher education are putting into this technology is really expensive. 
they want it to last for as long as it can. Well, and that's one of the things that's important for me. I mean, I live in a place where we could have earthquakes, right? I can't be having this stuff crash down, you know? Nope, nope. Um, and then one other thing, I mean, everyone knows, I mean, you're famous for the party, right? I mean, besides this stuff, but one other thing, and I think this is what's important for people to understand, when you go to the, when you go to the Peerless Party, one thing you see is it's kind of co-sponsored and branded by a lot of other partners. So yes. talk about why that's important for a company like you to really partner with, uh, because we all, I could be an XYZ campus, I could be another campus, so, and but you still, pro you provide a solution that works for everybody. We do, we're, we're agnostic, we work with a lot of the different brands and we wanna make sure, it's our way of thanking our, our customers and our partners at one place. And we know we're not one, there's not one company that does everything in our space. There needs to be partners to do it together. And we always tell our, our end customers, make sure you go to a trusted partner that has partners. If you have somebody that says, I can do everything, you probably should run because they can't. <laughs> they're overselling, they're committing to something they can't finish. You have to have good, solid partners for different applications. And that's what we do. And we do have the entertainment part of it because it's a lot of fun and it's a way of, of burning off some steam and enjoying time together. Because we're a community, right? Yep. I mean, the AV community is a community. Yeah. Global AV community. Uh, absolutely. Well, this is proof, right? You right. know, we're in, in North Americaners coming here, and it's now kind of a stop, right? And that's I think that's the biggest change that we've seen, right? Yes. Especially ISC being here. I love Barcelona. I, I love the, the, how they've moved it here. But the fact that we're now, you know, everything has become more important. I don't know what the right words are, but obviously, so, so what are you saying? And, and this is actually a question I get. So random, this is this is not the peerless question, but there's the, why should North Americans, especially in higher ed, come to a show like ISE? I might get controversial on this, well, Let's but go for it. Infocom is at the wrong time of year for higher education. Absolutely. The school ends, this is when they're deploying projects. All of our integrators that are starting to roll out projects, they've got a small window in the summer to deploy their technology in those schools. So they're saying Infocom doesn't work for us. I wanna see new products. If I see something in June at Infocom, I don't get it until the next year because of the budget process. Yeah. They can come to ISE and the end of January, see a product and go, when's it coming out? Oh, it's coming out in May. That's when most of the companies mm -hmm. are launching their product here, coming out in May. That can be deployed in those schools in June, July, and August. That's why ISE is the show to be at for education. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, that is, I kind of led you into that one because I totally agree. This is one of those places, especially in higher higher ed, we're getting our budgets approved in January. We now have to plan for summer. What are those things that we can now do? We're often, we all love Infocom. Everyone loves it, but it is hard. It's a hard, it doesn't match the buying cycle in the same way that ISE does. Um, so last question before we go and take a look at the, uh, the kiosks. Um, how do people connect to Peerless and get more information? So you can either connect to us, we have our sales contacts on our website, peerless-av.com, or if you know your sales uh, person, contact them. We're, we're a global company, we're all over in Europe, in, in America, in Asia Pacific, so we do have applications uh, and salespeople all around to be able to help yep. people. Absolutely. Now this is what you need to see, and this is the SR860. Talk a little bit about it. This is our brand new cart solution. We have two solutions. We have the SR860 for up to 75 inch displays, and the SR898 for up to 100 inch displays. And the design is a more sleek, ADA compliant design. It has pre-wired power in, in it, and a nice cover and a holder, magnetic to keep it clean. It's got a shelf to have any of kind of extra accessories you want. And we keep it clean by having the uh, the cables hidden behind the unit. So you could have your media players, all the mount, all the, the ugliness of AV can be hidden behind it. And then... And that's not metal. So why is it not metal? Oh, so that you can have a Wi-Fi signal. So basically, we kind of made it so it almost looks like the Wi-Fi signal so that you can, you can have it uh, project through. And then we could have a uh, camera on it so it swivels and it'll travel nicely through. Very cool. It'll travel through the uh, doorways easily and you can go right up to it. A wheelchair will fit right up into that and you can have your camera on it above or below. So you can have it as a mobile video conferencing device. I absolutely love that and again, usable for whoever your display manufacturer is, whatever. It's got the Visa uh, standards. 
yeah. for all of those. Whatever, whether you're a Zoom, a Teams, or whatever, it all works. Your your video bar, all of that. Right. All of and we even have the power per EUK on their models here. But in the states, we just have the SR860. But the, the EUK has the uh, European power. That is fantastic, and that is something. Obviously, get a hold of the rep um, and have you know you got to test out. And this is one of the things that we're always talking about in higher ed is you know the change after covid we all zoomify we all got these cards now what do we do what we've recognized is the flexibility that our students need and so being able to have a cart solution where you can bring it in you know maybe uh, you know la we're seeing that students want to be able to take classes outside and we want to guest lecture in our in our reception areas and in our lobbies and to make our flexible spaces something like that allows us to do right that. and we make it durable it's ul listed so we've tested it across multiple uh, surface areas and it tilt so that it can't uh, tip over and injure somebody. And we designed it so that you can just easily assemble it. It fits on a skid, a standard skid, and we can get more of them on a product on a uh, skid and lower the freight costs. We're trying to reduce the packaging, the weights, everything about this is trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly. Yeah, that is fantastic. That is great. Thank you so much for showing it. Sounds and good. thank you. Have a great thank rest you. of your show. Appreciate it.